The Bible isn't just a book of random stories. It's 66 different books that come together to tell one story. An incredible about God's love for us. And now for an amazing story inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verses 36 to 56. When he was in Jerusalem, Jesus often went to a place called Gethsemane on the Mount of Olives to pray. After he ate the Passover meal with his friends, he led them there as usual. But nothing else that night was usual. All that week, Jesus had been trying to prepare his followers for what was to come. The Son of Man will be handed over to be nailed to a cross. I am going to be lifted up from the earth. When I am, I will bring all people to myself. Even though Jesus spoke plainly, his friends couldn't bring themselves to believe it. Peter, James, and John tried to understand as they hiked up the slope. He's God's son, for goodness sake. He can't die. Maybe it's like one of his stories, you know, where it means something more than it means about what it means, if you know what I mean. Well, whatever is coming, it's not good. I mean, just look at him. Jesus climbed the hill ahead of them. He moved slowly as if a great weight had rested on his shoulders. As they approached a grove of olive trees, Jesus turned back to his friends. Sit here while I go over there and pray. Peter, James, and John turned to join the rest of the disciples, but Jesus gestured for them to join him among the olive trees. <sighs> My soul is very sad. I feel close to death. Stay here. Keep watch with me. We've got your back. Staying right here. Whatever you need. The disciples settled against the gnarled roots of an olive tree as Jesus moved up the hillside to pray. <sighs> wow, it's been a crazy week, except for dinner. Mm, big meal and a long walk. Ooh, it's getting seriously late. Guys, we cannot fall asleep. What, 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 what? I'm, I'm totally awake. A short distance beyond, Jesus fell to the ground, his face against the raw earth. The quiet calm he'd shown at dinner was completely gone. My father, if it is possible, take this cup of suffering away from me. He took deep breaths as if he could already feel the air leaving his lungs. But let what you want be done, not what I want. After a time, Jesus stood and returned to find his closest friends. Peter, James, John, I'm awake. Despite their best intentions, all three men had slumped into exhausted sleep. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray. Then you won't fall into sin when you are tempted. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. Sorry, I'm strong, honest. <clears throat> Got it this time. We'll stay awake. Give us another chance. Once again, Jesus left to pray and plead with his father God. My father, is it possible for this cup to be taken away? <sighs> but if I must drink it, may what you want be done. <sighs> Weary and sad, Jesus returned to Peter, James, and John. Friends, <laughs> just resting my eyes. So late. A third time, Jesus threw himself down before God. Please, if there's any other way. Though God did not speak, he set an angel to strengthen and comfort Jesus. Father, your will be done. Jesus prayed with such power and intensity, the sweat poured from his face, tinged red with blood. Finally, he sensed the time had come. He got up again and found his friends asleep again. Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come. The Son of Man is about to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. Here comes the one who is handing me over to them. No, Even as Jesus spoke, a mob sent by the religious leaders arrived. They brandished swords and clubs, and they were led by Judas, one of Jesus' closest friends. Greetings, Rabbi. Judas kissed Jesus on the cheek, not as a sign of friendship, but to show the mob who Jesus was. Now, Jesus could have slipped away and disappeared at that very moment, but instead, he stood his ground. Friend, do what you came to do. Get him! Ours. There he is, grab Take him! There he is, what are you yeah. waiting for? Go, go get him now! Jesus' friends stood Paralyzed in disbelief, he raised a man from the dead. Surely he can stop these things. Yeah, but he's not. Desperate, Peter ripped out his own sword and slashed wildly. The sharp blade sliced through the ear of the high priest's servant. Stop this. For a moment, all action halted. Jesus reached forward. With a single touch, 
he restored the servant's ear. All who use the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I can't ask my father for help? He would send an army of angels. But then how would the scriptures come true? Jesus turned back to the mob. He allowed them to grab him and haul him away to the high priest. No, he can't. Panicked and heartbroken, the disciples fled. Peter and John followed at a distance. They couldn't yet understand why Jesus would choose to give himself up to the people who hated him. 